The founder of Falun Gong, Master Li, seems to be a pacifistic, wonderful character. In many ways, he's helped millions of people with his calming practices. However, what hides behind the pleasant persona of a friendly spiritual teacher? An egomaniac who believes that he has a divine destiny. Far from being a perfected spiritual character, an enlightened person, what we're dealing with is an individual who's claimed to have special abilities, to be a divine being, to be a new Buddha. From our perspective, the profile of a cult leader seems to fit almost like a hand in a glove, a narcissistic personality disorder. What better manifestation than to be like God? He's made ridiculous claims, the absolute importance of his teachings, the validity of traditional medicine over that of modern medicine. He promotes the idea of self-healing, which leads to many people suffering and dying unnecessarily. His religion is the perfect tool for a narcissist to control others. Having a cult belief around him, more loose-knit in most cases, but still a danger to the people involved in it. He's made many ridiculous claims in his speeches and in his books, where he's spoken about how there's giant space women, how he saved the world from a disaster, an apocalypse. MPDs are drawn to cult leadership primarily because religion is tailor-made for their fantasies. He's also a homophobe. He's against different ethnicities, interbreeding and marrying, and promotes traditionalism, a Chinese conservatism, as a result of the easy availability of his ideas and practices, he's been able to carve out a considerable amount of influence. There are many people who belong to Falun Gong who spend much of their day promoting the organization. They use false copyright claims and false flags on various websites to shut down critics and suggesting that critics are working for the Chinese Communist government. They also promote anti-vaccine conspiracy theories family members say our brother our sister doesn't talk with us anymore he lectures at us he has canned rehearsed memorized speeches they say we can't communicate with our family member he just lectures at us that Falun Gong surely meets the criteria of being a cult by American or world standards